Charge here! I will shield us from their arrows and bolts! Greetings, my friends. I could scarce believe what I saw from above. But elf, dwarf, and man battling the enemy together, such things are not often seen. I knew it had to be you. Balaram, it is good to see you. I never thought we would meet again so soon. Nor did I. It does seem a strange coincidence, but a happy one nonetheless. How is it that you happen to be in the Ettenmoors? I serve as a scout for my people. We are at war with the stone giant Bagrasar, who has attacked us without cause. A stone giant? I have heard tales of such creatures, but I scarce believed they were true. Giants are real enough. From what I have been told, they dwell only in the highest mountain vales and keep mostly to themselves. I've never heard they were hostile to our kind. They seldom are. Eagles and the stone giants have shared the mountain heights without conflict for many generations. But this giant, Bagrasar, is different. Without provocation, he ambushed some of our people, taking them unaware and striking them down with hurled boulders. Many of our Ares he also destroyed, along with the defenseless fledglings who nested there. Gwai here summoned his strength to punish the giant, but he fled before us. We believe he has come here to the Etten Moors, where he is gathering an army of orcs and trolls. Bagrasar is a threat to all. The sooner he is destroyed, the safer we shall be. We will not leave our allies to face this enemy alone. Let us join with you in the hunt for Bagrasar. Your aid would be most welcome. Together we may be able to best him. Every hour he lives, his following grows greater. Let us press on!
useful.
Their archers have the high ground. Their archers have the high ground. The door has opened. This has the power to heal.
control!
Ambush! Still foes to defeat. Sorry to put you to that bother, my friend. It is finished! My people are avenged. And behold, here come your kin. My lord. It would appear that you have done our work for us, Belaram. Not I, Lord Gwaihir. Your thanks belong to these three. 
Andriel, Farin, and Aradan. It is they who rid us of Bagrasar. The same three that saved you at Fornost? Indeed. A remarkable chance that we should meet again. If chance it was, your fate seems strangely intertwined. But be that as it may, we are doubly grateful to you. First for saving the life of Balaram, and now for slaying the giant. We are glad your fallen kin have been avenged. Bargrasar was a threat to all free folk. It is only fitting we should join together to destroy him. Well spoken. But I wonder what purpose you had for coming to the Ettenmoors. This is no place for idle wandering. My master, Elrond Half-Elven, suspected the enemy might be gathering here. It was he who sent us to investigate. He also thought we might find a servant of the enemy here. A man by the name of Agendaur. Belaram has told us of that one, but I fear you have come too late. We have searched the Ettenmoors thoroughly in our hunt for Bargrazar, yet we have seen no sign of this servant of the Dark Lord. If he was here, we can be reasonably certain he is here no longer. My people will work to disperse the enemy forces that remain in the Moors. We will be on guard against the return of Agendaur. Then we should return to Elrond at Rivendell. He will be anxious for news, and we have already been long away. I will arrange for a messenger. My lord, I owe my life to these three. And I too believe Agendaur to be a grave threat to the free peoples of the North. Eagles no less so than any other. If you would grant me leave, I wish to accompany them and aid them in their quest. You ask a great deal, Belaram. I may have need for all my followers soon. Yet I perceive a great destiny awaits these three, and it seems you are now part of it. Very well. I will grant you permission to join with them for as long as you see fit. Unless Belaram plans to carry his friends like sheep in his talons, he will need help. If it pleases you, my lord, I will gladly accompany them as well. I too have a stake in this quest. Let me be the third. So be it. Three who cleave the air to match three who walk the earth. May fortune favor you all. Arminel, Baron Thor, you shall be at Belaram's command. Obey his word until such time as you return to us. Now I must depart. Many forces are at work across Middle-earth, and many events take shape. I must consider what part the Eagles will play in them. We are most grateful for your aid and trust, Lord Gwaihir. Farewell. You return at last. We grew concerned for you. I fear you have missed your chance to say farewell to the members of the Fellowship, for they have departed. Clearly you found danger in the Ettenmoors, yet you have returned safely, and in the company of three of the Great Eagles, no less. There is a story behind this, and I am eager to hear it. We found trolls and orcs preparing for war, just as we feared and they were led by a renegade stone giant. He was attacking the eagles. But with the help of the eagle Belaram, we were able to slay him. That was well done, but this is troubling. Why would a stone giant act in this manner? They have never been hostile to free folk before. We took these tokens from some of our fallen foes. That's Agendaur's black raven emblem, plain enough then we can be certain he is behind the giant's descent into evil. But there are also other tokens here I recognize. These are the marks of the orcs of Mount Gundabad, far to the north. Could it be that Agandar is there, at Gundabad? 
It may well be. From Mount Gundabad, the orcs have many tunnels and secret pathways connecting the hidden mines and orc holes of the Misty Mountains. The orcs can move along those routes in great numbers without being seen. If Agandaur is raising an army to fight for his master in the north, it is certain he will have traveled to Gundabad. The evidence you have uncovered confirms this to be so. But we have no way of knowing if he is there still. Perhaps not. But we must know one way or another. We cannot sit idle waiting for him to begin the war on his terms. To walk into such an orc-infested pit as Mount Gundabad would seem like folly. But you have proven your skill and daring many times over. And, too, you have the eagles to aid you. It may be that you will find a way to take the enemy by surprise. It is certain that, were you to destroy Agandaur, you would cut the heart from Sauron's plan to make war in the north. Let it be so. We travel to Mount Gundabad. Your courage is commendable, but be certain you are well prepared. Mount Gundabad will not be forgiving of the unwary. Farewell, and may the stars shine upon your path.